Hi guys, welcome to another video from myself, RC Steve B. Uh, in this video, I just want to look at something that I purchased a couple of weeks ago. Uh, if you watched my last video, um, you will know that uh, myself and a few of the other urban monkeys um, attended the Southern Scale Trail. Awesome event. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave a link at the end of this one. Um, please watch it. It's well worth it. And if you didn't get to go this year, make sure that you go next year because it was awesome. While I was there, I actually visited a retailer called Noah's Ark RC. And if you look up here, you will see their web page. They could not have been nicer. They were so amicable. It was unbelievable. Um, for instance, I wanted to buy some tyres, some uh, super swampers for this, but because it's a 6x6 and tyres mostly only come in four, you do get charged a small fortune for those extra tyres, or you have to buy eight and have four, uh, sorry, have two as spare. No, no, not with Noah's Ark RC. Uh, I brought the four originally and fitted them to my uh, yellow D90, but then decided, ah, actually, I quite like them on the uh, the 6x6. It's six, a bit beefier. So I went over and I asked him if I could uh, just have two more. Didn't argue, didn't procrastinate. He just got a bag of four tyres, ripped it open, gave me two, split the price in half of the four and said, have a nice day. I mean, top man, top man, well, and, and his wife as well. They were a, a lovely group completely. But the other thing that I bought, apart from a rather nice set of wheels as well, Land Rover wheels, I might show you those in a minute, was this, an ESS Duo sound generator. Duo because it's got the two speakers. Now, I know that this has been out for quite a while but I also know from reading a few of the blogs and posts and things like that a lot of people are having problems with setting it up I never had any issues whatsoever so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how I set it up uh, on the computer how to download the sounds for it to go in uh, and then I'm also going to show you how I actually got this in there because as we all know anybody that does anything RC space is at a premium and even on my SCX10 III which has no extras on it whatsoever I really had trouble finding room for that to go in but I did manage to find room for it in here so I will show you how I actually did that in a moment. First of all, let's go through the download process and the installation process of the um, ESS Duo itself. It also comes in the box, I haven't got the box because I've had this now say a couple of weeks, um, it also comes with several mounts, none of which I used, uh, and it also comes with this, the S-Link, and all you do is you plug that in like so whichever way around it goes there we go plug that in like so and then plug it into your computer uh, and once you've downloaded the software which i'll show you in a moment it's dead easy it, it, it is idiot proof and it must be idiot proof because i did it and i'm an idiot so without further ado let me show you how i did it Right, so to start off, open your browser, as you can see here, I'm using Google, and type in the words RC plus download. Uh, and you'll see, I've obviously searched for it before, that's why it come up here. When it opens, you will see RC plus and some Chinese writing and Sense Innovations. This is at the top of the page, or it was on mine, and this is the one that you actually want to open. So open this one. When this opens at the top of the page on the Sense Innovations website, you will see Supports Plus. 
and underneath that is a drop down menu which says software. Open that one and pick RC Plus for Windows and hit the download. You'll then be asked where you want to save it like other programs that you've downloaded for your PC. Click where you want to save and hit the save button. After it's saved go for the install making sure that you actually attach your ESS dual sound generator to your PC. Then you'll see the RC uh, Plus icon, open that one and you'll see the sense loading window appear on the computer. Once this opens it will automatically open up the home page showing you exactly which one of the modules you've got attached to your computer. As you can see here I've got ESS Dual Plus. Uh, it also gives you lots of other information such as how to upgrade. It also tells you exactly how much space you've actually got left on the Dual. Um, and it also gives you the two profiles that you can choose from. I've got this one which is an, uh, a TD5 diesel and this is set as my default sound so that when the truck starts up uh, that's what you hear. If you open that one you'll see you've got the turbo and got the engine sound and by clicking the listen button you can hear what that sounds like. I also have a turbo on this one. And again, that sounds awesome. If you go to the store, this is where you can download everything from. At the top, you'll see all car, aircraft, boat, and auxiliary. Obviously, we want car. When you open the car menu, you get drift touring. NASCAR F1 Rally SUV, Sport Truck, Crawler, Tow Truck, Turbocharger and Brake. The two best ones that I found were the SUV here or the Crawler here. It depends on what you want. I mean if you really want to have like a NASCAR or something like that or a touring car or even a rally car coming through your Crawler, it's, it's totally your shout. But for me it's either SUV or Tow Truck. To download Click on whichever one you want, well, hang on actually, I'll click onto this one here and you will actually see that there it says download. I'm going to go back to SUV because as you can see here I've got a Grand Cherokee SRT8. Um, so what I'm going to do is because I've already downloaded this one I'm going to install it. Now it asks me which one I actually want it to install on because as I say you have the two different sections there you can have two engine sounds on there I like the TD5 uh, which I've got there as I said by Dennis Decker so I'm just going to put it in two so that you can see how to install once you've seen which profile it is you want to add the sound to press OK and you'll see it start to download That bit was actually shortened for time. Um, it does actually take a little bit longer to download than that. Once it's finished downloading, hit the close button. Then go back to your sound generator. And there you will see you actually get the chance to either set sound two or sound one as the default. Once you've done that, disconnect it from your PC and reinstall it back into your vehicle or try to install it back into your vehicle well there you go it's fitted i've managed to actually fit it between the two body posts here um which uh, it's a bit of a bodge job but i wanted to use the original um body mounts that the 6x6 had on it um so i've had to improvise a little bit but then that's all part of the game as you can see obviously uh, I've covered it over with a couple of balloons uh, because anybody that's watched my videos knows that I am actually um, slightly ad addicted to water with my RC cars so you know but hey ho who isn't the other thing is because I've had to mount it there 
obviously that takes up some of this room now, which means I can no longer get a standard uh, 2S battery in there. So what I've had to do is, if you just, one, one second, I actually have a couple of small 3S batteries. So that's what I'm going to use. And to power the sound generator, I'm actually using the battery from my Charisma SCA 1E, uh, my little Charisma Pup, 7.2 volts, which is exactly what this takes to run on. And just to hold it in place, I've actually put a little bit of Velcro on the battery so that then that fits on there, battery strap over the top, and it holds them both in place. The other thing is as well, as you can see there, I have actually put plus and minus on, excuse me, and that is so that I can either turn the volume up, turn the volume down, or change from uh, profile one to profile two. So let's have a look. I'll put this all down, wire it all back in again, in again, because uh, as you can see, if I do this, the battery is attached. So let's just pop it all together. Move that out of the way. That one goes in there. I'm not sure what this yellow leads for. That single one there. I suppose somebody will just tilt that down a little bit. I suppose that somebody will, will tell me what it's for. But this one here is on the Y lead that goes straight to the throttle control, and that's plugged in. And then as we come down like this, because as I said, space is a minimum, we'll plug that one in there, and that is it. That is now all working and live. There. So what we'll do is we will turn it, turn the controller on. As you can see, six by six, channel one, button is there. I will turn the light off, stop blinding people. Right, so it's all programmed in, it's all set up, it's all ready to go. Flip the throttle. And there you go, she's now running. And then if you leave it, just for a few minutes, or a few seconds, should I say. It only goes and turns itself off. I mean, how cool is that? Right, so there you go. I hope you found that informative. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, if you're new to my channel. Uh, one thing I do want to show you very quickly before I go, and I mentioned it a little bit earlier, is while I was at Southern Scale Trail, I also brought this rather nice set of wheels from a Noah's Ark RC. Um, and as you can see, they look really, really nice on the, uh, the old D90 there. I cannot stress how nice and how accommodating the guys were. Um, it was it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant, it's absolutely stunning. Now what I'm going to try and do is, if I can, and I don't know if I can because I've never tried it before, I'm going to try and leave a link uh, below this video in the description. Um, so if you do get a chance, head over to Noah's Ark RC, have a look at them. As I say, very, very accommodating. Uh, and as far as I'm aware, they do brilliant postage service as well. Only thing that's left to see now is to see this little baby out on a trail. So I'm going to sign off and I'm going to leave you with a little bit of video uh, that I recorded earlier on of 
this out and about. So until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. And until we meet again, which hopefully won't be too far in the very near future. Happy RCing, guys. Cheers. Bye bye.